I'm Lindsay. Hi. And we are brought to you by the GLCC, which is the Gay and Lesbian Community Center here in Pittsburgh, and also Gay Life Television. Duh. So thank you, everybody that's out there in Justin.tv and Roku and MondoClub.com. Thank you for joining us. If it's your first time, thanks. And if you're joining us again, thanks for coming back. Oh, wait. Can I say something? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you guys should follow us on Twitter, though. Um, that is Twitter mm -hmm. at sign GLTV. Mm -hmm. Um, or Facebook also, which is facebook.com slash television. Or, hey, by the way, we're live again. What's up, baby? Um, so you can call us, too. 412-567-0381. Um, if you want to talk to us. I mean, you don't... No, I don't care if you don't want to. You have to. So. Who doesn't want to talk to us? I mean, I don't know about you, but I know there's a couple people that want to talk to me. Right, ladies? Just kidding. <laughs> Not kidding at all, but that's okay. Okay, kidding, continue. Kidding. It's your turn. No, I mean, did you do anything interesting this week? This week? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I wasn't here last week. No. Sorry. I, I um, That's kind of lame. Whatever. Did you say lame? Lame. It was lame. I mean, I was here, so it was lame, but it was lame. I could just talk to myself the entire time. It's okay. You talk to yourself any other time. <sighs> but anyway, um, no, I, I had to get away for the weekend. It's, um, you know, my time of the year to do it, so. It happens. What about you? I'm on golfing. I suck at golfing. Well, I'm sure you look adorable doing it, honey. Well, you know, you have the little tassel cap and everything. and. You would. The knickers. You would. Yeah, I'm suck. judging you mildly. Okay. I'm sure you do. Regardless, so, you know, every week that we are here, um, we go over the list of events that they do down at the JLCC, and that's at 210 Grant Street, right off the Boulevard of the Allies, and right next to FedEx. Um, and if we go through this too fast, or if you miss something, or if you have questions, you can always call them at 412-422-0114, or go to their um, website, glccpgh.org. You can also email them, which is info at glccpgh.org. So, you have no excuses not to know what's going on at your community center. So, we'll start. Okay. okay. All right. Well, this Saturday, that means tomorrow, mm -hmm. um, there's a volunteer training from 1 to 4. So, if you're interested in volunteering at the center, like, um, you know, just helping out, then go to that. Mm -hmm. um, you can always email them or call. <laughs> Well, what else am I supposed to say? You just go to it. I no, mean, scoot, go on. I know you want. I don't. What should I? I think you should ponder it for a couple of days. It'll be over. I mean, just just yeah, go. If you've been considering volunteering but you weren't really sure about it, um, just go and you can get all the information that you need. Um, that's from one to four tomorrow down at the center, mm -hmm. two ten Grant Street, FedEx. It's down the steps. Um, and then on also on Saturday, um, the fourth Saturday of every month is game night. That's from six to nine p.m. Um, so, game night, play games. Board games. Board games. Yeah, like all these kind of obscure Not board like games. Not like D&D? No, because that takes too long. It's like usually games that can be finished up with an hour or two. But I want to dress up as a wizard. Well, you can just go ahead and do that, because nobody at GLCC is going to judge you. That's true. That's very true. I could easily walk in, like, decked out. I'm talking, like, not, like, silly, like, uh, Fantasia-looking Mickey Mouse wizard. I'm talking, like, Gandalf wizard. I'd be impressed. I mean, hey, what can I say? I am just a chameleon, I guess. Um, but anyway, um, the second Sunday of every month is men's night. Moving on to Sunday. The second Sunday of every month is men's night, and that's 21 plus. Um, it's more of an afternoon, really. It's from 1 to 4 p.m. Um, if, you know, you're over 21 and you just kind of are not really into the bar scene, that is where you should go. But that's men only. Mm -hmm. um, and then Sunday, the first and third Sunday, is women's night.
So same deal, women only, 1 to 4 p.m., um, first and third. So not really into the bar scene. That is a good place to like mingle with other people your age within the LGBT community. So that is for you. Um, the third Sunday of every month is a potluck and movie night. How can you go wrong? I mean, there's food and Movies. a decent flick. So, yeah. um, And that is um, from 6 to 9 p.m. Um, that's the third Sunday of every month. So you can just call in the center because the movie's different. Obviously, that would be silly to watch the same movie over and over again. Um, granted, I do that, but the GLCC does not. So there's a different movie. <laughs> Don't judge me. Judging. <sighs> Judging harshly. Call me pat my weave. <laughs> um, well, no, because if you, you can't scratch it, because then no, you'll flatten out. your hair out. Oh, but that would nice. You flatten it out. Yeah, because there's like a tiny bit of volume here, because. No, I thought you meant with a weave. Oh no, a weave it'll come out. That's why you have to smack it. That's why you always see girls going like this. What if they have short hair? What's the point of that then? I'm stopping. Okay. Just asking. Anyway. Just scratch my hand. Want me to continue? Yes, dear. Okay, so Mondays, as always, is Belly Dancing with Pixie. Um, she's a fantabulous lady, a great instructor, and it's for everybody, regardless of your skill level. That is Mondays, 7 to 9 p.m., and that is $10, but, you know, portions of that do go to the GLCC, so it's a worthwhile cause, and it's a fun time. They usually pick, like, one song, and they kind of help you out, um, get a routine down with it. So... I like belly dancing. Do you? I like to watch belly dancing. <laughs> That's always fun. Yes. Um, Tuesday and Friday, as always, is real time with uh, Leanne, and that's through Persad, a great community um, establishment here in Pittsburgh. Um, that is under 24, and that's 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. And Tuesdays and Thursdays is the Persad Safe Space. And that's at 4, and Friday's at 5. You can come down, hang out with uh, kids, socialize, get away from all the crap that's happening in the world. The huge. The huge. Um, Wednesdays is the Say Yes drop-in, and that is for homeless youth. It's under 25. From 12 to 3, you can come down, you can get resources, you know, get your feet back on the ground. And there's usually some pizza there, and counselors, and all that kind of good stuff. It's a great resource. Um, move Your Booty pop dance class with Abby. Uh, should be resuming sometime this month, so give us a call at the center to see when that's actually going to happen. I don't have a date, sorry. Um, every other Wednesday is yoga, and that's 5.30 to 6.30. Um, uh, on Wednesdays also is a free clinic, which is freaking amazing. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's for regular health care and trans health care, for the underinsured or the not insured, and that is also from 12 to 3 on Wednesdays. You might want to call down and make an appointment, because sometimes she's booked, sometimes you can get in. But again, it's free, and it's totally freaking worth it. It's a great um, thing to have open for you. Most people don't have health insurance. And if they do have health insurance, it's, it's not no. It's not enough at all. You know, it's weird. So I went and got my contacts today, right? And this woman was in there getting uh, a pair of glasses for her son. And the deal was like sixty nine ninety five, and you got like the lenses and the, the frames. And oh, that's a really good deal. It is a good deal. But she's like, I want to put this on my insurance. And the woman was like, OK, well, that's $59. And she's like, I'm sorry. I thought that was covered. She goes, yes, but if you do it under insurance, then they bill more. So it was actually $199, so it's going to cost you $59.95. Well, that's true. I know, but it's stupid. Well, they do. Um, well, I'm explaining why from the provider and the, never mind. There's, no, please do, because oh, I'm the, sure a lot of people are going to have questions. Well, yeah, well, there's just a reason for that, because um, providers are contracted with insurers. So a lot of the time, um, insurance companies, whenever they're contracted with the provider, um, the provider grants them a discount for paying in a certain amount of time. So they would actually, if they charged the insurance company the $69, mm. um, they would actually be losing money, the provider would be, because mm. they take either a percentage or a dollar amount off. So that's, they always charge insurances more because they know that they're going to have to, that the insurance company is going to take a discount. Huh. Okay. So they, they lose money doing that. Which is why they charge so much. All right, then. I mean, I'm just saying. But that doesn't make it right. Because, no. um, because insurance companies pay so little. Um, well, most insurance companies pay so little. For, to most providers, it's a, it all depends on everything. Um, but 
they get mo most providers get the most money out of people who pay out of pocket. Hmm. Unfortunately, for people. You know, it'd be great if we had health care, like universal health care. Wouldn't that be awesome? Oh wait, oh wait, they're trying to do that. We don't have a government right now, so. Anarchy. Something like that. I mean, no, seriously, dude. Like, I don't understand, because like, if everyone's just like off the clock, you know, how come? I think that pretty much means that this is, never mind, I can't say that on air because of the whole droid thing. I don't want to get, you know what I'm saying? The unmanned droid thing. Yeah, okay, so anyway, anyway Thursday. Bunnies. Yes, Thursdays, as always, is HIV testing, and that is free from 5 to 9 p.m. What did I say? Free? I think you did. I did say free. So. And it's a rapid test, correct? Uh, most of the time, I believe it is. Yes, it's a rapid test, so it's like 20 minutes. Yeah, so you'll know. So, I mean, 20 minutes of your time to make sure you are HIV free. It's not asking a whole lot. And it's free. 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 Five Thank to you. nine. Five to nine. Um, Thursdays. The first Thursday is the Crafter Circle, and that is from 6 to 9 p.m. Come in there, do some crafts. You know, popsicle birdhouses and whatnot. I'd make that. I totally would. Thursdays. The third Thursday is the Book Club 7 to 9. We all know what a book club is. Fridays, as always, is the GLCC Youth Drop-In, ages 14 to 18, 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. It's a great group of kids. You'll have a lot of fun. They do activities, watch TV, movies, pools, games, whatever. Hang out. And we also have a group for folks that are 50 plus, and it's a great group, very active. They go everywhere in the city and a couple other things. Yeah, they do, like, a ton of stuff. Yeah, I'm envious of what they do. I mean, they're just... they're. We're not invited. No. We're never invited to anything. I'm not 50 yet. Um, but if you want to check out their schedule, that is facebook.com backslash nexuspgh for the schedule. There are a few other things. Wait, this just in? No, OK, sorry. All right, so there is going to be an activity at the Scare House. And who doesn't want to freaking go there? Me. Well, um, that is October 17th. Uh, that is also Spirit Day, and Spirit Day is a day where um, allies, anybody can wear purple in support of LGBTQIA youth. Um, <clears throat> that was my high school color. Purple? Yes. That was blue and gold. Highlanders. The Highlanders. Yes. There can only be one. <laughs> there were many. <laughs> All of the Highlanders. There were unfortunately many. And there's a gauntlet at graduation, right? Um, you, you I didn't actually go to mine. I wasn't invited. <laughs> I graduated, but they, never mind. We're not going to talk about that. Okay. So, so anyway, there is going to be a table set up for the GLCC to um, put up brochures and explain a little bit about themselves and why it's important to support the community. Um, we do need volunteers for that. They must be 18 years old, available from 6 to 10.30 p.m., be outgoing and willing to post for photos with the Scare House Bunny. I like bunnies. You don't like the Scare House Bunny. Why you, not? Because he's scary. It's like the dirtiest, creepiest furry ever. Oh. Yeah. I'll totally pose for a picture with the Scare House Bunny. Go for it. I won't um, go in the Scare House, though. I'll pee a little. <laughs> so to volunteer, you can email the GLCC. And as I said before, it's info at glccpgh.org. Um, we also need volunteers to help make purple bracelets uh, to give to folks who donate that evening. So if you're interested in that, hit that email as well. What kind of bracelets are they? I don't know what kind of bracelets they are yet. I really don't. I could just ask. Purple. I'll just stop down and ask. Just stop down and ask. Want to know what concept? Yep. You can do that too. They are open every day from 9, or 12 p.m. to 9 p.m. except for Sundays. Um, that, that schedule is kind of fluid as the weeks go on. Um, so finally, if you're interested in coming to the event in costume to entertain the crowd and ask for donations, please email us as well. We are also going to be kicking off um, a membership drive on the 17th, and we will get you more information about that as the time approaches. It's going to be um, a great opportunity for you and your friends and the entire community to invest in the community center as we invest in you. We also have Zombioki. Nice. Yeah, you like that? Okay. Zombioki on the 31st. Uh, it's a karaoke and costume contest at Cativo, and that's right here in Lawrenceville. Uh, it's co-sponsored. It's like right up the street. Yeah. 
down the street, down the, street. Yeah. Down the hill. Cativo, uh, it's co-sponsored by the GLCC of Pittsburgh and Cativo. You can join Cativo and KGA Titanium and the GLCC and sing your heart out for you or your friends. DJ? No, KJ, karaoke jockey. I've, I've attempted to make this correction with him and he insisted it's KJ. Huh. It's kind of boy bandish though, but John is kind of boy bandish. That's all right. Whatever. Not so, judge. Yeah. Um, one more thing, and that is the GLCC Youth Halloween Party. Tons of fun, and that is going to be um, October 26th from 6 to 9. There'll be treats, sweets, and beats, dance, costume contests, and lots of fun. 25 years and younger. So get down there. Again, it's free. So. When you first said beats, I, the first thought was like the vegetable. Beats. Yes. And we're going to be bobbing for beets. Nice. Screw apples. Beets are very good. They are very good for you. I like them. I like borscht. Does that count? <laughs> no? I hate you. <laughs> mm, borscht. It's just a great word. Hey, you feel better. I can't. Borscht. I, I don't think I can physically say it. Borscht. You just did it. Oh, I did it. Borscht. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Shall we? Dive into the, uh... I think we shall. Yes. No, I don't think we should. Maybe you're right. Maybe we should wait and take a break. Yeah. Yeah, we should probably definitely take a break. I'm with you on that one. Okay. okay. Yeah, Roku. left and apparently neither have you so justin.tv roku and mondoclub.com and the rest of the internet hi nice to, nice to see you again miss jill a little only mildly because you weren't gone for long lane missed you really a lot it's an emotional time it'll be okay it'll be Just fine put their back it's okay <laughs> okay. well thanks for coming back yeah. um we just have a couple of things that we wanted to mention or complain about, get angry about. Because <laughs> that's what we do. Because, yeah, mostly. That's how we roll. Yeah. Okay, well, we're going to start a little bit. So, there's this dude. He is from Boston, so obviously I'm biased. Um, adult film star. Um, what was his name? Jesse Jackman. He I'm oh, sorry, Jackson. Okay, done. <laughs> the little things. Mm. Okay, so he, ba okay, so on Tuesday, he was blowing up Twitter, um, claiming that Facebook suspended his account because of a fairly innocent, yeah. I would say, like kiss that, like picture that he posted on Facebook of him and his partner, boyfriend. I'm not sure of the actual status. Um, husband. Husband. Mm -hmm. Okay. Husband. On Facebook, and that Facebook banned it. Oh, and his husband's name is Dirk Caber? Yes. Like Caber Toss, I suppose. I would assume. Okay, but anyway. Um, his profile was eventually restored, so don't get super upset if you um, like his page or are friends with him on Facebook and are missing his sexy make out pictures with his husband, um, but uh, but apparently a Facebook guy is looking into everything that's been going on, um, like what it is, but I'm going to tell you what Jackman said um, via Twitter, according to his tweets. 
Um, everything started after he posted that photo that I mentioned previously of himself and his husband on October 8th. Um, the photo was followed by an abundance of homophobic death threats from Facebook users. How nice. Mm. I mean, I'm sorry, but if I'm Jesse Jackman, I'm pretty sure that I um, have, I'm pretty confident that if you like his page, you are not exactly <laughs> watching missionary porn. That's all I'm saying. I mean, I'm just throwing it out there. The lady has a point. It's true. Like, and it's the same. I don't want to see everybody, like, making out with their boyfriend or girlfriend, regardless. But it's not like they're, like, go, no, they're not. tongues are up their noses or anything weird like that. No, I mean, it's the same as pe when people put, like, their wedding photos as their profile picture. It's the same thing. They're kissing, correct? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, great. Never mind. But nonetheless, I just want to know where all these people came from that are, like gay bashing this dude like you were friends with him or liked him on Facebook in order to see that mm. so my question just just tossing it out there um why did you like his page in the first place if it's obvious based upon his work his industry um what goes on so why are you doing that if you're just closeted, you know? Like, because they must be insecure mm -hmm. about something. They're very broke back mountain. That's all I can picture, to be completely honest. Broke back mountain? Yes. They didn't have computers. I, I know, I'm just giving a hard time. I'm oh, sorry. Continue. You're not sorry you did it on purpose, but I'm going to let it slide. Because I think you look handsome in your tie. Oh, you're so cute, honey. Anyway, the next day, apparently Facebook removed the photo and then temporarily suspended his account, um, claiming that it violated community standards. The social network currently prohibits graphic imagery, nudity, and the sharing of pornographic content. Um, but Jackman does not detail which community standard he allegedly violated. I'll tell you what, I am going to be a little blunt here. I am friends with like six different dominatrixes on Facebook, and there are some things that they post on their wall, and some performers that the both of us know. Mm. That yeah, <laughs> it's, that's ten times more. They're, okay, it's two guys with shirts off, and they're giving each other a little low kiss. That's it. That's it. I, I have seen, I've I have seen, seen things I want to unsee <laughs> on Facebook. It doesn't really disturb me. Like people at Walmart. That is so much work. <sighs> Poop stains are worse. I concur. Hmm. I don't know, but all I'm saying is some of the people that I'm friends with on Facebook post some stuff. Mm -hmm. They post some things that should not be on a family website such as Facebook. Yeah. That's totally true. And to be concerned with something like this is ridiculous. It's consuming people's energy and time that just does not need to happen. Okay. Stupid. But do you want to continue or would you like me to continue? Because I know how much you love to hear my voice. What, this one or this one? Continue the rest of this one? Yeah, you finish this one. I'll do this one. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. We should really, like, talk about this earlier. But honestly, if we did, I'd forget. making some wind sounds. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, so, um, some people interviewed Jackman, okay, and he received multiple public death threats after posting this photo. Um, he endured countless homophobic slurs and received dozens upon dozens of hate-filled messages, and yet Facebook did nothing about those disgusting comments, choosing to censor love instead of hate. So they removed the picture after dude was like verbally assaulted, hmm. cyber bullied, adults. That is such a lifetime movie. Seriously. I just don't understand that Facebook. And I am an avid Facebook user. As you can see by all of the ridiculous YouTube videos I post at 2 a.m. Which is true. What does the fox say? I haven't the foggiest idea. He hasn't seen it. I refuse. Everybody out there was like, yes, I'm telling you exactly what the fox says. 
Well, apparently the elephant goes toot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, no. Just, just toot. So what does the fox say? Were you feeling? Um, no, actually, because there are numerous things that the fox says, and I can't say them without laughing or snorting. So I'm just going to avoid that. It is some ungodly sounds that apparently the fox says. <laughs> anyway. Damn it. Now I want to see Okay, it. but um, his Facebook was reactivated um, this past Thursday, so, or some day that, ends, that starts with T this past week. Anyway, um, <laughs> there's only two, so pick one. We're specific here at Truth Talks. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's only two, so. There's some gay stuff going on. Thought you should know about it. Okay, thanks. We don't really know anything else. <laughs> See you later. Um, but now there's this thing going on Twitter, like the hashtag craze. Did you see that thing with Justin Timberlake? No. Hashtag thug life. <laughs> so funny. It's like this whole hashtag thing. It's hilarious. But anyway, it's called hashtag Facebook kiss off, which um, it's just basically was started by people who are absolutely outraged by this whole situation. So if you feel the need to support Mr. Jackman, feel free. I know you enjoyed that last name. <laughs> Feel free to hashtag a picture of you kissing your loved one. My turn? Yes. Okay. So, Home Depot has targeted gay employees for firing them after a financial crisis lawsuit claims. So, Home Depot? Maybe mm -hmm. not the Home Depot. So, Hardy Lex Housh, which just sounds like a superhero, doesn't it? He totally does sound like a superhero. Hardy Lex Housh, a gay man, was fired from Home Depot. What color would his cape be? Pink. But pink and no, it'd be like I a think watermelon. I was thinking periwinkle Green. or lavender. But Lex, I mean, that's just yellow. Maybe yellow. I, I guess. Yellow. Anywho. Sorry, off topic. Um, he was fired from Home Depot in Lemon Grove, California, in February of 2012 after 25 years of service with the company. Um, he claims that his termination was rooted in a scheme, a scheme singling out older people and gay males because of their higher salary and the expense of the insurance. Um, he slapped the hardware chain with a $100,000 discrimination lawsuit claiming that the company targeted older, higher paid managers as well as gay male employees for termination during the 2008 financial crisis. Rude. That's four years. That's a big gap. Big gap there. Big gap. So, um, how states in his 70 page complaint, that is a lot of complaining. I mean, we complain a lot, but I don't know if it's like 70 pages worth. Well, I mean, we usually work off of like four. We also had a lot in there. But anyway, so his 70 page complaint filed with the Orange County Superior Court. He says that Home Depot was concerned with the gay male employees because of its perception that it would have to pay more medical benefits associated with HIV and AIDS. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, Home Depot was concerned that it would have to pay costs associated with gay partners. And as of January 1st, 2012, Home Depot, California made a decision to terminate all gay employees because of the California Domestic Relationship Act. That legislation required employers to provide benefits to partners. That was a quote. Yes, that That's was. why he was so specific. Yeah. Um, well, Okay, um, he alleges that he was targeted for termination and other harassment in October 2011 after his co-workers found out he was gay and after he registered his domestic partner to the insurance plan, but Home Depot did come back and rebuttal that. Um, devil's advocate, it has to happen. Yeah. Um, Home Depot says, we strongly disagree with Mr. Hausch's claims and we will address them in the proper form. Stephen Holmes, a corporate communications spokesman, told the Huffington Post, um, the fact is that we're proud of our record for supporting our LGBT associates and maintaining our commitment to diversity throughout our workplace. Right. What has Home Depot done for the LGBT community over the years, you ask? I will tell you, Mr. Rapic. In 2011, um, the American Family Association... <sighs> That was like the best sound ever. Okay, um, they called for a Home Depot boycott because of its so-called homosexual agenda. What is with these people the and the agendas? I don't even know what the agenda is. Do you know what the agenda is? Are you in that circle? Can I explain to you what I, what my agenda is? Yep. I go I get up, 
take a shower, eat some breakfast, go to work, come home, cook dinner, take out my dog, do the dishes, good lord, and creep on YouTube. Scandalous. And then I go to sleep and then I do the same thing all over again. You know what I do on Sundays? I don't, I can't listen to this. Anymore. Laundry. Oh. Yeah, that's the gay agenda. Laundry. A lot. I'm horrified. Laundry that is hand wash only. I'm horrified. I can't believe you live that kind of lifestyle. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't help it. I mean, I was, I was raised in a religious home and I just I had to go the opposite way. Mm. I just had to take the wrong path, the rocky road, which is delicious. I could really go for some rocky road. Okay, anyway, so as another thing that the LGBT <laughs> community uh, has experienced uh, Home Depot supporting them. Last month, a man used Home Depot as a setting for his surprise marriage proposal to his partner. Uh, I didn't see this. Did you see it? I don't need to see it now. I don't check out viral videos. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. I just... But nonetheless... Hopefully something gets resolved. Yeah. I ho certainly hope something gets resolved, too, because I kind of feel really bad for dude. Mm -hmm. I mean, because that it's unfortunate that he was like harassed by his coworkers after they found out that he was gay, and the fact that he got fired probably because he made a bunch of money, and also probably because he was gay. I mean, I don't think that that much there's that much more insurance that goes along with it, considering um, st statistics have shown that people in homosexual relationships tend to be healthier, like physically speaking. Hmm. Um, I mean, you'd think it'd, they'd be more concerned about people who are like alcoholics. Yeah. You have to drive like forklifts in the store and carry big, heavy things. That is a huge liability. Yeah. Or there. what about people with like a bunch of kids? I mm, mean. Like calling off and all that kind of stuff. It's no, I'm money. talking about insurance because all those kids are on their insurance. Oh, do you know how many times kids, do you know how many times I got hurt in my youth and how much insurance companies had spent on making my bone's not broken anymore. Hmm. A lot of money. So I'm just playing Home Depot. Get your stuff together. Yeah, buddy. Anyway, moving on. Okay, the family, which ugh, is another one of those right-wing Christian organizations, has slammed LGBT victories because they are bitter and probably not getting any. Again. Yeah. So earlier this week, officials for the group released a statement of vehement opposition to the trajectory of the LGBT movement or the agenda. The agenda word drives me crazy. <laughs> um, they have highlighted nine prominent gains made by the LGBT activists and related incidents through a conservative Christian lens on their website. Aww. Yeah. These include framing California's bill benefiting transgender minors as a bill that was passed that allows boys to use girls' bathrooms and locker rooms and vice versa. That is how they're labeling it. Mm -hmm. When all it's saying is that transgender children should be allowed to use the bathroom to which they identify. Okay. Because frankly, I'll tell you what, when I was in elementary school, I would not walk anywhere near the boys' restroom. And frankly, the boys wouldn't walk anywhere near the girls' restroom. It's like a mystery, you know? Like, they don't know what's in there. Mm. They don't know what's going to get them. They have no <laughs> idea what goes on in there. <laughs> frankly, most men don't want to go anywhere near that. So, I mean, like, it's not like, I feel like they would think it would become an issue. But I'll tell you what. I certainly wouldn't want to go into a men's room if I don't have to. Because You're I have gross. cleaned men's restrooms at previous jobs, and I'll mm. tell you what, do you realize that the bowl is this big? No, I understand there's urinals or whatever it is you pee in. <laughs> um. <laughs> crock pots, they just have crock pots in there. <laughs> but I don't understand how, if you're, like, I'm sorry, if you're using a bathroom with a door in a public bathroom, 90% of the time, you're shitting. <laughs> why is there pee all over the floor? That's all I want to know. I just don't understand. Why is it when you come to my house, and I, there's only women that live there, so I know it wasn't me. Why 
Is there fl Is there <laughs> pee all over my bathroom? Why? Maybe they're looking for the toilet paper and they just forget that. Why do they need toilet paper? You don't need. You shake it once, it's fine. Twice, it's okay. Three times, we're getting some questions. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just using this event right now. Just aim better. Like, you've been doing this since you were what? Like, a year old, two years old, three years old? Like, you'd think it's a pretty big hole. You know, it's a pretty big bowl. It's not that difficult. I'm sorry, but you're not packing all that you think you are. There's no reason as to why you cannot hot dog down a hallway. No reason why you can't aim. Okay. Do you feel better now? Yes. The weight of the world off of your shoulders. Oh, when you shave your beard, keep your hair out of the sink. That's disgusting. Yes. Yes. Okay, now I'm really done. Okay, go ahead. Nope, no more. Anyway. I won't go on you... the beard tangent. I almost went on a tangent, you know. Well, that's because you clean up your beard. Probably. Yeah, but some people in my house don't. I know exactly what you're talking about, and that's hilarious. And he just flushes it down the drain and says that it'll, it'll go. It'll it's like go. coffee grounds. You can't no, do that. No, it's not going to go down the drain. I'm going to have to drain all that crap for the 1900th time. I can't even say anything, though, because girls are disgusting, too. I mean, girls' bathrooms are nasty. I Honestly, I really don't even want to go in there. <laughs> I have to. Ugh. Like, especially you're like, stall. Oh, nope. Oh, that's mm. sketchy. How hard is this motion? Or you can do it with your foot. Anybody can do that. Oh, no, I'm not even talking about that. Mm. Not even talking about that? Oh, I mean, I'm talking about that. Mean. Yes, but you don't even want to know. I don't want to know. You don't want to know, honey. It's mm -hmm. terrible. It is terrible. Especially at freaking McDonald's. Ugh. Honey, how did you get that there? <laughs> how did you get that there? Jeez, like, it's like, it shouldn't even go anywhere further than that. Like, why is it over there? Why is it over there? It's projectile. Oh, how does that even happen? Is that a sh Okay, sorry. We are just... We are talking about the right-wing Christians now. Uh, but no, so it should be fine for kids to do that, because there wouldn't be an issue, because they really want to go to the bathroom. bathroom. Yeah, everybody has to go to the bathroom, and they don't want to feel uncomfortable. No. I'd feel weird about the bathroom. I mean, it's the same thing like with dressing rooms. I was in H&M, H &M, and they don't have like men's dressing rooms and women's dressing rooms. It's all one hallway with doors. You know what? Nobody's going to be prancing around in their underwear down that hallway. Nobody's going to be like climbing under the doors to go into the next stall. Nobody cares. Everybody has to try something on if you're in a store. Yep, that's true. Doesn't matter. Anyway. And everybody would notice a camera phone underneath the door. Yeah. I certainly would. Yeah. So that's not going to happen. So, okay, this article that they spouted off about, um, it starts with, all across the nation, Christians are being targeted by homosexual activists whose agenda is clear. Approve of my lifestyle or pay the consequences. At first, the cases were few and far between, but now the number of cases are building and the collective threat is growing with the goal of suffocating Christians' vocal opposition to promoting a lifestyle which is not consistent with their faith. Thank you. How dare you? That was good. Golf clap. Thank you. Thank you. That was very theatrical. Yes. I try. I mean... So you know what I heard during that whole thing? That... that. <laughs> That's what I heard. Cry me a river. Get over yourself. I mean, I'm just saying, like... I don't understand... I, I mean, I know I've said this a billion times, but I don't understand why it matters to you. That's all. Because frankly, I don't want to know or consider or think about anything, any type of ridiculous two pump chump missionary that you do at home. So why are you like dwelling on that unless you're interested? It's because they're just crusty ochre merchants who cannot stand to see other people being happy. Yeah, that's true. I'm just they're convinced change. that that's everybody true. that like bashes something, it's because you're, it's because you're curious. Or mm -hmm. because you're just afraid of things that are different than you. Mm -hmm. Which tells me that you're curious. <laughs> Son of a gun, you. Anyways. So, they seem to be most upset over the fact that the whole LGBT movement is, like, forcing their issues on people. And if people do not comply with their visions or their agenda, they shut them down. And most notably, they're talking about the sweet cakes bakery that we were talking about over in Oregon who refused to bake a cake for a gay wedding and because they were jackasses people didn't like him anymore and their business went down the hole and they had to close down. This oh. goes back to the meaning of life. Karma. 
don't be a dick. Karma. Yeah. So the family leader's comments strongly echo those of the American Family Association, who strongly claims that it was a homosexual mafia, and they are the real reason behind the sweet cakes by Melissa closing up their shop right there this year. Homosexual mafia. Can I be part of the homosexual mafia? Do we get like jackets? That'd be sweet. Yeah. That would like be awesome. Like fedoras with like rainbow bands. I don't look good at a fedora. Can I, I have, you can have a jacket. Can I have like a sun hat though? Sure. Because you never see ladies in, uh, in like involved in the mafia wearing. No, it's always the big. That's what I want. Hats. The big giant. Like I'm talking like breakfast at Tiffany's. Yeah. Yeah. With big sunglasses so they can't see who you are. Yes, precisely. Yeah. yeah. I actually totally wear that every time I go to the beach. I have a giant hat like that. That's good for you. I mean, you don't want to be out in the sun the entire time. Yeah, I'm a little, I'm, a, I'm not as pale as you, but I'm Italian. What can I say? I just sneeze in you. Oh. <laughs> okay, you want to hit this next one? You're rude. I'm sorry. Anyway, apology accepted. <clears throat> this is local, so basically what had happened was, I'm not saying names just because this is local and there's people locally that watch this, and I mean granted it was on the news, um, I personally wouldn't want my name out there. Because then the people who attacked me could find me on Facebook or Google or Gaelic Television. So, um, and I wouldn't want that to happen again. So just from my personal preference, I'm not going to say any names. But um, police are investigating an alleged October 6th assault um, at a, um, of a local man and his boyfriend. Um, as a possible hate crime, possible. Okay, so um, was this in front of the blue moon? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's in front of the blue moon. Like right there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised that a riot didn't break out. To be completely honest. Yeah, in Lawrenceville. Right. But anyway, um, so the gentleman that this occurred to, um, he. He basically like posted it on his personal Facebook like what had happened, but this is what he said. Um, Last night, a group of men attacked me and my boyfriend on Butler Street in Lawrenceville after yelling from across the street, faggot, at us, to which he replied, yes, we're faggots. Apparently, they were incredibly insulted. That was just me adding. Um, immediately after, the group of men ran across the street and began hitting, kicking, and stomping me, I'm quoting, um, the mark on my right cheek is a boot print. Boyfriend threw himself on top of me to discourage them from continuing the assault, but they began kicking him in the head as well. I don't ask you to cheer on my romantic and sexual lives. I do, however, expect people to not violently, to not act violently against one another because they do not share tastes and preferences, end quote. Um... Eventually, a group of patrons from a neighboring bar called authorities um, when they witnessed the alleged, alleged violent attack occurring in front of, it says Remedy, but it was Blue Moon. Mm-hmm. Um, when police arrived, the gentleman um, was reportedly bloodied with multiple welts and bruises covering his face. That's according to WXPI. Isn't that WPXI? Yes. Dyslexia moment. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Apparently, um, the gentleman believes that the attack only occurred because him and his partner were being affectionate with one another, which so many people do. Mm-hmm. Um, and wants the police to treat this case as a hate crime. And they Just should. as they should, because it is. It's totally a hate crime. They just had a rally down there. Was it yesterday? Yeah. Yeah. I was unfortunately unable to make it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I am incredibly annoyed and upset and angered by the whole thing. Um, I thought that we were a little bit more progressive than that. I mean, 
un unfortunate as, as it is, I can, like, especially with things that are happening in, like, New York and, like, areas. Like, Pittsburgh has been voted one of the most gay-friendly cities yeah. in the country. Yeah, it's very unassuming, but then you get here and it's just like... You're like, oh, it's wow. incredibly gay-friendly here. Yeah, it's crazy. But then you hear stuff like this and it's very, very scary. Especially when you're going out to these bars constantly to do certain things and shows and then you kind of get wrapped up in this like bubble of your friends and everything and you forget about these crazy mofos out there that do this kind of stuff and then stuff like this happens and you're kind of shaking a little bit because now you're going to be constantly looking over your shoulder when you're walking out of a bar that's supposed to be a safe haven. I mean, it's, even if you're like, I mean, even for people that don't go to gay bars, like me, for example, I am what everybody would consider. You're gay? Really? Are, are you sure? Well, honey, I mean, if you ever decide that you want to take one of mine, I mean, just let me know. Because that's what I get every time I go to the bar. Because I'm, I don't wear sleeveless flannel, and I'm terrible at softball, and I don't drive a Jeep, and I hate you, Hall. I mean, I do like Alanis Morissette, though. But, anyway. I mean, like, I get that because of, because of the way that I look. But other people get it more, like, people only know that because I wear it on my sleeve. I mean, I'm proud of who I am. And I don't, I don't feel a need to hide. Um, but then there's other people who may wear a little bit more on their sleeve than I do. Like, I mean, just because I carry a rainbow lanyard and I openly say whenever freaking disgusting, sweaty, giant dudes come up to me at the bar and try to buy me a drink, I'm like, I'm, no. And then they're like, oh, well, you got to learn to take this. And I'm, and I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm really just bitching about things that occur in my life. But anyway. But other people have it a little bit worse because they can't even walk down the street without it being an issue because, like, people just assume based upon the way that they look that they are a certain way. Um, and, I mean, granted, stereotypes are here for a reason. It's, that doesn't make it okay. And the fact that these two were just loving one another and then they were assaulted is... Sickening. It, it makes me really mad. I'm an incredibly gentle person. Right lane. And I don't know. That's just my opinion. I, I, it just makes me want to fight people, to be completely honest. But that's not the answer. No, it's not the answer. I mean, it's just, it just makes me want to shake my fists. But anyway, Learn. we're really sorry about what happened to you. Yes. You have all of our support. You do. So that is the last story of our show today. Thank you very much for joining us. I'm Lynn. I'm not Lindsay. You're Lindsay. I'm Lane. I'm Lane. I'm Lindsay. Okay. So thank you everybody out there on Roku and Justin.tv and MondoClub.com. We appreciate you sticking with us and watching the show and supporting the GLCC here in Pittsburgh. So and Gay Life Television. Gay Life Television, of course. And again, if you want to find us on Facebook, that's Facebook.com backslash Gay Life Television or on Twitter at GLTV. So until next week, we bid you adieu and have a great weekend. Okay, thanks. Love you. Bye. Mwah.